What's up, suckers? Well, recently you might not know this, but Blizzard banned the software that lets you multibox. And by software that that lets you multibox, I mean the software, any software that lets you send the single key to multiple windows at once. And that's how we multibox. And so. You can be forgiven for thinking that Blizzard banned multiboxing, but that's not exactly true. Blizzard did not ban multiboxing. You can still multibox. You just can't do it effectively because you can't send a single key to every window at the same time. And so people like me who like to multibox, we were shut out in the cold there for a moment, but just a moment because... Um, I thought about it a little bit and I immediately thought, wait a minute, I bet, I bet I can get around this. I bet I can recover from this small setback by, um, instead of sending the same key to all windows or sending any keys to any window, what I could do is I could write a quick script that would, every time I press the key, it would just switch which window was in front. And, you know, it's obviously, it's, it, it's, it's an idea that is never gonna be as effective as sending a key to all windows, but um, it is an idea that I thought could be 70% as effective as sending a key to all windows. And, so I went for it, and over Thanksgiving weekend, I put together a, a script. It's not very long, um, but it just sits there and runs right here. Just sits there and runs and just waits and listens and listens. And if it hears a key, it changes which window is up front. It changes which window is focused. Um, or, I mean, it can do even more spectacular things um, than just changing which window is focused. Um, it can change which window is the big window. Like, uh, if I hit the two on the numcat pad, I'm immediately, immediately my big window is the druid. Or if I hit, hit um, that's not my code, by the way. If I hit three on the numpad, immediately the big window is the shaman, or the mage, or the hunter, or back to my tank. So what can you do? What can you do with with a system where all it does is switch windows? If you look, and um, I have to make sure that you actually can look. Yeah, you can see all the windows. You can see all the windows in my in my Windows um, taskbar. And um, here, I, uh, there's a there's a monster. There's a monster. There's a monster flying by. Let's go kill this monster, shall we? Um, whoo, this is, yeah. This is pretty eerie. It's a dungeon. It's a dungeon. And here's a monster in the dungeon. So I'm just going to draw your attention to the taskbar and say, all right, watch the taskbar. Watch what happens with which window is highlighted. I'm hitting the two key. Now, in my world, the two key is um, DPS single target. And um, you can see that what it's doing, pointing to the bottom of my 55 inch screen, you can see that what it's doing is um, it's switching windows automatically. And it's switching windows be between all of my DPS guys, including my tank, one after the other. Every time I hit the two key, the next two key goes to the next window. But you might notice that it doesn't, it seems to skip that third window most of the time. What's up with that, Fury Swipes? Well, that third window is my main healer. I'm, I'm continuing to press the two key for this demonstration. That third window is my main healer. He doesn't need the two key all the time, all right? We need the two key going to DPS because we're DPSing. And so two out of the three times through my group, I skip my healer, all right? Only the third time through do I give my healer 
the two key that is pressed by the user. Only the ter third time through the uh, through the rotation do I switch windows to my healer. And um, that's not the only thing you can do with this kind of system. I mean, you can you can actually strafe your whole group. My tank strafed, right? If I hit the Q key again, the next guy will strafe. If I hit the Q key again, the next guy will strafe. And again, next, and again, next. Same thing works with the arrow keys. If I hit the down arrow key, my tank goes back. Hit, hit it again, second tune, third tune, fourth tune, fifth tune. Now, it's not very good in combat, and this is what I was kind of intimating. Um, this is never going to be as good as being able to send the same key to every window. It just isn't. Um, but let's say I have to buff. I put my buff on control one. So if I hit control one a bunch of times, it'll go around and notice control one doesn't skip anybody. Control one isn't skipping any windows because everybody gets an equal shot at buffing. So you can see control one is my buff key, right? And it's just a simple round robin. Just a simple round robin. It goes from my tank to number two, to number three, to number four, to number five. Now, sometimes you're, you're doing something like buffing and you don't know what window it's finished on. Well, in this case, it's finished on Palia, all right, my mage. Well, I can instantly go back to my tank just by hitting the tab key, which is my normally normal um, targeting key, right? So if I'm tab targeting, I want my tank to be tab targeting, okay? So I tab target that plague rock and um, I'm gonna hit shift one. He didn't actually get kited, but whatever. And then I'm just hitting the two key again and notice we're mostly going through the DPS guys. Once in a while we give earth shock a key and that is just enough for earth shock to throw down a healing rain, okay? That is just enough for my healer to throw down something he should throw down um, during combat. All right, so here's a tough fight. Trashing this one is tough. And one of the other things you do that, that you can do and then that I do with uh, this system is notice if I hold alt down, I'm on my tank, right? And I'm holding alt down, guess what? There's no window swapping. If I'm holding alt down, I don't swap windows. It allows my tank to um, build aggro because I build aggro on alt two. Alt two is taunt. Alt two is also death and decay for me. And that's how I build aggro early in the fight. So whenever I'm holding the alt key down uh, on one of my DPS keys, I don't, I don't um, switch windows. And I only have three DPS keys. I have single, multi, which it may be multiple targets at range, and then AOE, which is we're standing on the target. Everybody, everybody, pop arcane explosion or whatever and blow up the target. Um, but not true of Alt One. So Alt One, notice Alt One switches windows. I'm holding Alt-1 down. That's because 1 is my mount button, but my, oh, 1 is my mount button, but 1 is also my assist target button. If I want people to assist, assist my tank, I'll hold Alt down. 1 actually mounts up, okay? So it can be a pain to mount up while you're trying to get people to assist you. And Control-1, the buff key, dismounts. That's the way I've written it in my, in my macros. You can write it any way you want. Anyway. The one key, you, you may notice whether it's control, whether it's alt, or whether it's um, open, it, the one key does a full rotation. What I call a full rotation. Doesn't skip anybody, doesn't do anything magic. So, alt one, if I want to target, if I want everybody to target that Meyer soldier, I just hit alt one, 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 one. If I want everybody to target the fungi stormer, I just hit one, 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 one. And everybody's targeting the fungi stormer, okay? Then we can roll in and we can bust up those MFs, which I'm gonna do right now. 
and I'm gonna hit four, which is another DPS key, but it's my turbo key. It means blow all cooldowns, and you see my uh, shaman blew a cooldown. My um, my hunter blew his bestial wrap. Did he though? Now he did. Um, something's gonna hurt us right now. That hurted us pretty good. Now I'm gonna talk about healing. Notice when I hit the healing button. The healing button only rotates between two windows, my main and a druid who can also heal. So when I when I hit the healing buttons, the F1 through F5 keys, they only go to two windows. That makes healing very efficient. Oh, I gotta get used to this alt one. I just kind of innovated that one. Now, the other key I have is F. F is my favorite key because F means interact with target. That means pick up whatever I'm selecting, talk to whoever I'm talking to, or run up to and bonk over the head whoever I'm fighting. So interact with target is F. So F, we have F, we have healing, and we have DPS. We could be pressing all three of those buttons in a fight at the same time and I will maintain those rotations differently. I will keep track of whose turn it is in each of those rotations and try to hit those windows in just that way. And we're about to do that right now because I'm gonna roll in here and we are gonna go nuts! Three. I'm hitting three and F at the same time. And now I'm gonna hit heal the tank. That's three keys going on at the same time. You can see what's happening to my window rotations. Looks like my shaman needs a little healing. My 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 my, my druid needs. A, oh, oh, my tank is getting hammered. Back on F1. I'm still holding. I'm still hitting the three key, which is multi-target. And now we got some other heals to throw down, and we are done. And we have done a pool. And I'm going to tell everybody to assist me and then loot that Malvaga. Did they all loot? Yeah, they all looted. I, you tell them to loot with the F key also. And I'm going to, I'm going to highlight the windows as they're swapping. The faster you click, the better you'll do. So if you figure out how to click really fast, it's going to be like old-fashioned multiboxing, I'm telling you. But right now, for me, the way I click, it's never going to be like old-fashioned multiboxing. Um, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Here I am inside a dungeon, farming mobs. And um, then we also have the... Uh, we also have the, the, the five key. The five key is that AOE key I was talking about. So the five key looks kind of like this. So we're all AOEing. We watch our health. We watch our health. We, we make sure if there are any mobs that jump behind us um, that we are, you know, hitting the F key to focus them. This is gonna hurt right here. This may be a lot of healing required. Yep, there's a lot of healing required. And I'm just going to manually heal all this. And I'm just, just going to hit the F key at the same time and get that Doom Shroom. Maybe even... Oh, let's heal the Hunter. I'm, I'm intentionally letting these guys get smacked so that I can show healing. But I will unintentionally be letting these guys get smacked on the next mob after this one because I don't think I can kill this mob. And... It'll become evident why this type of multiboxing isn't, you know, the complete miracle that we needed. It's the miracle that we got, but it's not the miracle that we needed. And, you know, a, a lot of it is going to require, um, you know, skill, practice and skill. And I'm trying to build up some. I'm trying to build up some skills, um, but 
you know, it's happening slowly. This is all new to me. This is all new since Thanksgiving. So, um, I looks like I don't need to buff. I think we're all buffed. And we're going to try this horrible, horrible mob. This mob is just going to ruin my day right now. And I'm going to open with turbo. And I'm going to open. You know what I'm going to open with? Bloodlust. Yeah. Yeah, that's how crazy it is. So now we got to get out of the way. Look at that. I've lost half my health just for not. And you just got to keep moving. And you got to hit once in a while. You got to keep moving. And I'm just going to actually pop all my healing cooldowns. We still got a little blood less left. And this guy's popping shit. Meanwhile, thank you very much. And that's the first time I've actually ever killed that mob. And nobody died. Wow. It's the magic of YouTube. That was hard. And, and I needed bloodlust to do it. So I've opened up the way to the boss now that I've never fought. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. Space. I'm going to space too. Going to Mars, man. I'm going. It's another thing you can do with five minute multi boxing. You can actually switch dynamically during a fight who the boss is. So let's say Cheat died, all right, and I need a new boss during a fight. And I'm gonna make that boss I'm. First I hit the two key on the numpad. Now my my the guy in my window is I'm. If I hit Alt 4, guess what? Everybody follows I'm. He's the boss. But not really, because nobody's assisting him yet. To get somebody to assist him, you have to hit the F6 through F10 keys. I'm happens to be F6. It's, it's, um, I'm happens to be F7. It's F6 for this window, your main, F, F7 for this guy, F8, F9, F10. So I'm going to hit F7 five times. And notice everybody says, I'm focusing, I'm, I'm the boss now. And I'm goes up there and he says, I'm the boss now. Everybody is going to shoot at my target. And does everybody shoot at his target? Yes, everybody does. Everybody does. And so I'm is the boss now. So if you want to go back to your main tank, let's say you res your main tank after the fight. Well, the only way to go back to him is make everybody select the main tank as their focus. Okay. So F F6 and then go back to the main tanks window. Come on. What, what, people are left behind? Is that what you're saying? People are left behind? Well, let's go get them. Let's get rid of all these slimes and get ready for this boss. We're gonna try and we're gonna try and five these slimes up. I want to watch out for that mob on the on the on the side because I have died my way through that that mob I couldn't kill, and I know that mob on the side is he's rough, he's rough, bruh. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and get him. We're gonna try and get him. Plague Belcher. I think he belches plagues. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's in his job description. Beck and slime, belch plague. Oh, there it is. I knew he belched plague. I knew he belched plague. And nobody's shooting. Why is nobody shooting out of range? You know, it helps to be in range of my people. Okay, I don't know how that was out of range. 
I have no idea how that was out of range. I interrupt that motherfucker. Give me my magic death and decay. Dude, we are so good right now. I mean, I've never done this well. I'm making a video and I've never done this well in this place. What the? Oh, all right. Some of those were just like his plagues. Okay, I'm just hitting the five key now. I'm just cheating. I'm, I'm click targeting all these slimes in the distance. But still, oh, 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 ah, mm, ah, oh, oh, ah, ah, oh, ah, uchi, uchi, uchi mama. Oh, I need my shaman miracle heals. Look at that. Look at the shaman miracle heals. Oh my gosh. The shaman is a wonder worker. Okay, we're going to stay out of the goo. Oh man, I am really good at this game. I am so good at this game. I'm practically multi days. That's right. That's right. Multi days, I'm gunning for your job. Okay, we're going to kill this plague belcher real quick. And then we're going to try and kill this boss. I know we're not going to kill the boss, but I'm going to try and kill the boss. I haven't killed the boss at 60. I killed plenty of bosses on the way up to 60 in dungeons. Um, plenty of bosses. I killed the same boss over and over again. The same two bosses over and over again. Not plenty of bosses. Um, ooh, you know what? Staying at range kind of cracks the code on this guy. This guy's nothing, man. Nothing. You're a chomp. You a sucker! You a sucker! You a chump, man! You nothing! Okay, so let's read this. Remain in close pro proximity, everyone, to glob grog, so slime wave is easier to absorb. Avoid. Avoid the slime wave frontal cone attack. Position yourself so plague stomp doesn't knock you off the platform. CC slimes to prevent them from reaching the boss. Ugh, that's gonna be hard. Damage. Burn down slimes quickly to prevent them from reaching the boss. Plague Stomp will deal high damage. Pull boss to one side of the platform. One side? All right, fine. Okay, I've never pulled this guy. Ever, not even once. I'm going to pull him to one side of the platform. There you go. He's at one side. I'm calling that one side. Plague Stomp. Uh, that didn't hurt actually that much. I'm just going to take the Plague Stomp. Uh, slime Wave, Slime Wave, Slime Wave. Don't get, don't get rocked, bros. We got rocked. We got rocked by that Slime Wave. That was a bad rock. Back in the Slimes. Let's see how these Slimes look. Where are the Slimes coming from? How far are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from pretty far. So we got to switch to them. No, don't eat those slimes. Oh, he ate the slimes. Uh, we only lost one guy. So I'm actually gonna, just going to battle res him. No! No! Ooh. Yeah, we got that. We got that res thing from the night fay. Okay, slime wave. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I kind of have this. I kind of have this. Why not just say tank face the slime wave away from your stack? That would have been so much smarter. Okay. And then hit those slimes as they come in. Yeah, 
I actually think I can kill this guy. Where are you at? Dude, you are out of combat. Okay, fine, res everybody. All right, we're gonna kill a boss tonight. We are going to do this. Slime wave? Opening with slime wave? Note, stomp? Another slime wave. Actually, we didn't get hurt that bad in that whole run. He ate two slimes. Not cool, brah. dodge that slime wave so we're gonna do our miracle heal back in slime okay we'll take it Wave. Or shot got hit by the slime wave. Just loading him up with healing. Another slime wave. F and two. Get out of the slime. And we're gonna beckon slime and we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna burst again because he does no waves during Beck and Slime. And we are going to win. We are going to win. We're going to win. Yeah. Yeah. First boss down at level 65 minute multi-boxing. It works. It works. Give it a shot. 5 .com. Actually, I, do, I think I do have a .com still. I don't update it very often. Oh, we should loot it. Probably have loot. Anybody getting loot? Uh, somebody got loot. It's not an upgrade? Are you kidding? Of course it's not an upgrade. It's only like level 150. What level gear? It's 158, isn't it? How is this not an upgrade? 158. Oh, it's a dagger. Who got a dagger? Wait a minute. A dagger? A dagger? A dagger? You gave a dagger to a druid? Fucking game. Dude, I'm about to throw this game out the window. Seriously. Out the freaking window. That was supposed to be an upgrade. Not the point. Point is, you can kill a boss in five minute multi boxing, and you saw me do it. You were there for my first boss. So jump in. You don't need a bunch of computers. You can just do it with a simple script. It's all legal. It's all Blizzard approved.
See, I'm even going that far. We are not sending keys. We don't generate keys. These are all your own keys. Um, jump into five minute bubble boxing and um, get rich. Space.